things that need to be talked about? Not here, not now. This is you the weekend. Because you won't talk about it, and you won't talk about it. I will you never talk to you again. Abby, I'm not talking about it. You're making my daughter cry, so shut it. You came here just to put Ava through this again. I don't want to put her through it. Well, you I didn't know she One of the fastest things that gets the atmosphere heated on Dance Moms is the announcement of results. The results do not always go as every parent expects, but that is why it's competition anyways. You're our top four, fourth, fourth place overall mother, mother that's Chloe. I don't like to lose, but I don't ever lose anyway. And our first place overall top Scoring Eddie from Company. The kids are always happy when they win, but winning seems to have a different meaning to their moms. Did you give our top scores? Give a big round of applause. Undefeated. Aren't you happy? Congratulations, you guys take that big wacky bow. Whatever. This is not fair. Chloe was learning a dance 12 hours ago in a studio, and you expect a nine-year-old to go on stage and like be flawless? Our kids were set up to fail. I'm done. I don't want to say anything else. This statement shows the lack of satisfaction with the pre-competition arrangement and also signals the likelihood of a confrontation. Do you think this mom would keep her cool with the others? I'm so excited for you because she got the we best We don't want to ruin the weighted victory. <laughs> we can all go in the hallway because I tried to talk to you and I tried I'm to not talk to you personally. Get what? Let's go Why in the hallway. I'm not going anywhere. Just not here, because not now. This you is the weekend. Won't talk this means there have been prior discussions with Abby, but they did not seem to yield any fruits or as expected by Chloe's mom. No matter how they decided to treat this issue, trouble was looming at this point already. You're making my daughter, daughter cry, talk so about shut it. Talk about what? Yeah, how many times does my daughter beat your daughter this year? My no. queen was stacked again. Get out of here now. Let's go. Bitch. Let's go. Hey, that your kids feel bad, but it doesn't matter that my daughter no. feels bad. Your daughter is holding a national Take it away in a minute. Abby and her team might have won the just concluded dance competition. It is also responsible for the division in the group. Not every mom on Dance Moms is excited when the team wins. Some want to see their daughters do it. Girls, they are staying with me. You are an uneducated mess. Quit drinking. I'm not going on a bus. How did I get stuck in this? There have been a series of confrontations on Dance Moms, with friends going off at each other and facing off with Abby herself. We've also seen some superficial criticisms being compounded into more significant issues. I said you were clearly upset with Abby. You didn't want to take it out I of her, so you took it out on Jill. with Abby. If anyone, Chrissy should understand why I wouldn't want to start a fight with Abby. Kelly, you were upset about why something. Why were you screaming at me? The reaction and following statements show that she does not understand why someone she considered a friend would do something like that. We may find out much later in the episode. Stand up for her or yourself with Abby. That's not the Kelly I know. No. You know, you said yourself that you, you don't even think of me as a friend anymore, that I'm I a horrible friend. I never said that. You're full of <laughs> Kelly, and oh, you know oh, it. Well. At this point, the confrontation gradually left the baseline and became a significant issue for the moms. However, they pour out their minds without shying away from the camera. Uh, maybe you should get fined. What'd you just say? <gasps> Who just said that? I think what's happening here, Kelly, instead of your aggression towards Abby, which is you're taking it out on all of us. Yeah, like, whatever. You I didn't ask. call me because you were pissed off about something else. Sitting that there. shows me that you're really not a good friend. Walking away is one of the alternatives to issues like this because it helps to prevent violence. Believe me, Christy. I know. I, I won't know, be your friend. Because I kiss ever. everyone's ass to you get do. my kid head. You no, do. I don't. You do. You tell. When the young dancers are on stage in a Dance Moms episode, the audience watches with rapt attention and applauds them after the performance. Abby then critiques the dancers based on her observations, but there seems to be something different in this episode. What did you say? The kid in the red red pants didn't know what they were doing? I wasn't. No, that's Paige. Paige generally doesn't know what she's doing. This comment is mainly a trigger for moms who can't stand criticism of their kids from other parents. And Anthony and Kathy are talking bad about Paige. I mean, loud. That signaled the beginning of an altercation that would pause the dance activities. It's obvious you put your best dancer out front, so you watch the back line. 
They continued with their criticisms until the end of the dance, showing how much interference they had in the hall. Those who could hear their comments felt distracted, but Abby did something they never saw coming. I summoned Paige down off the stage. I thought that if Paige stood up to them and looked at this man and said, if you have something to say, say it to my face, that he would rationally, as a grown adult, say, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I, I, I won't say anything else. This confrontation is not a pushover as it tends to become something with more noise and clashes. But it didn't look like that. I guess because you were close to the wing, it looked like you were, you know. Uh, uh, you're not her dance teacher, so don't give her critiques. Leave her alone. Well, you yeah, but you're Paige, having, please you're go up on, on her She's rude. She, she does it enough. Yeah, well, I pay her for Good. her critiquing. Good. And you not should, you. Maybe you, Forche, no, maybe you should get a refund because those knees were bent. When two parents began exchanging words like this on Dance Moms, it's only a matter of time before someone says something damning. One of the moms even intended it to be a bye comment this time. Yeah. Many a steps. Well, at least my daughter can get out there and dance. Your daughter can't. She's sick every week. I didn't really care that he was giving me corrections because I like getting corrections from other people because it makes you a better dancer. One major issue is that some parents do not let issues like this slide, and the more comments you make, the worse the situation becomes. And it was only the truth, Abby. That's all I was, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying anything. It's not nothing against you. You know what? Well, let's call Katy Perry and see what she has to say about you. I quit. That's what happened. I yeah, quit or got before. fired. Figure it out. I continue to work. Why, Abby, you shouldn't talk about kids. This is a moment where Abby focuses on the kids and gives her review of the performance. The confrontation seems to have stolen the show. Ever. Because she said something about my kid. Did, was I sitting here talking about Vivian? Yeah, she, no, no, I no wasn't. No one said anything about your kid. Abby called her off the stage. Because you're talking about her. I wasn't talking. All right, look. This is a dance competition. This is my livelihood. You either need to leave the premises or you need to act like a lady and a gentleman. I've had it. It was very important to settle this little altercation or end it before things got out of hand. The show had to go on, so Abby did that to shut them up. What then, Abby? What are you talking about? When you mess with one of our team members, it really makes Abby angry. We protect one another. And I'm telling you, she's sticking up. Abby Lee is considered the ultimate decision maker regarding which kids are eligible for a dance routine. Abby enjoys this privilege and tries to be as fair to all as possible, but she can also be very strict. All right, I don't want to waste any more time. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, hi. hi. How did Ava and Jeanette end up here at this rehearsal studio? Did they think I've lost my mind? That I didn't remember kicking them out? You are not really what I'm looking for for the Slack team. This meant that Abby never expected them in the studio today, and their presence meant she had to revisit her previous decision. However, it didn't take long before other moms got involved, too. Do you believe us, stalker? Ava's here right now, and we are here because of perseverance and determination. She's still part of the team. What? No, Abby I thought gone. Abby kicked Actually, you off Abby along with... You guys were gone. Another no, one. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Good. When Abby is about to take decisions in conditions like this, she tries as much as possible not to hurt the kids' feelings. Thank you. Abby. She's not part of the team. We want to be here. You were cut from the team. When was she cut? I was never told she was cut. Shush! As a matter of transparency, Abby decided to show the moms why her daughter was cut from the team. It was not a proud moment for Abby, but she had to do it anyway. It's in there. This not is time I'm number there. three. Ava, see you next to Chloe. Ava, you're too tall for us today. You're cut. Thank you. You can go. Is that clear enough for you? When something like this happens, the kids sometimes become emotional and question the validity of their dream as dancers. However, Abby is always there with some words of encouragement. Thank you for this opportunity. Honey, you're a great dancer. You're going to be successful. You can get away from your mother and get great training. I can't Go. believe you came here just to put Ava through this again. I don't want to put her through it. Well, you I didn't know she we was all... cut. Get out. 